Okay. Um, I've got some emblems from a boat that apparently it had like the high rise plastic filling in it that had came out a long time ago. And so it was just black and uh, so I'm feeling them. And uh, just, you know, I'm back on the uh, outboard. It's a Johnson GT 150, an 89 model on a bullet boat. And uh, let me get it to stand up straight now. Come here. Really? It's gonna be that hard? Okay. So, anyway, the paint I'm using is. Uh, Free cat epoxy, Sherman Williams, water based epoxy, extra white. It's a little pricey. You could probably get them to put it in a pint for you for little things, but love that paint. I've put on hundreds of gallons of that paint. It is uh, very well bonding, very, uh, takes a lot of abuse. It keeps a gloss. It's semi gloss, but it still, people can't t really tell. It's a semi and uh, just gloss if we're latex but 15 minutes normally when you roll or whatever you can touch it and um, they used a lot of hospitals on the walls so the gurneys would bump the walls and it wouldn't peel yeah I see a little imperfections on my paint brushing but straight on I really can't see and I'll go back in and detail a little bit get some of that extra white off hide that but, uh, yeah, I'm actually I build it up a little bit and uh, it's okay to build it up because it don't shrink and crack. If you ever used DTM, direct to metal paint, Sherman Williams or PPG, you will know that you smell like a strong ammonia smell when you open it. and that's the way this paint is it's very similar it's like DTM but better way better and um, it's got like that ammonia keeps it from molding I guess it's got an anti-mold it'll last a long time dang it yeah I messed up on that one can't use my hand to hold it steady because I'm holding the recorder but Anyway, I'm going to finish this up, and I hope this gave you a little ideas on, on boat emblems.